Yeah. All right, y'all. Welcome back to the house on Avery Road. It is time for me to get all of these off this trellis. They're dried. So what I'm going to do is pull them off. Clean off this trellis. And decorate this trellis for Christmas with light. Gonna be gorgeous! I'm fixing to continue working on this, but Wayne's gonna come out and all of that is oregano. So he's gonna get all the oregano so we can take it in and dry it and put it in jars. All right, now this is okra. And what I've gotta do here, I've already saved enough for seed for next year, but what I need to do is come in here and I wanna pull up these okra and see if I've got any nematode issues just to see and I'll show you what I'm looking for if I do all right so to see if we got nematode issues and I can already tell on your okra roots if you've got big knots like this that's nematodes and what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to come in here and plant a spicy, spicy, spicy mustard. And I can get those seeds from Haas Tools. Um, and that should take care of my nematode issue. So we got all that took off. I hate this is bent. This is where that tree fell on it and it bent it all up. I'm just gonna straighten that out a little bit, but I got all these beds weeded for the most part. And I started mowing the grass, but I ran out of gas and I'm not going to the store right now to get none. So we'll finish that up later. And I'm putting all the leaf mulch on these beds to cover these beds up here. So they'll be ready for the winter time. And I'll show you all this. That's broccoli. The broccoli is looking good. Brussels sprouts. They're sprouting. Carrots, carrots are doing really good. They don't need to be thinned. Well, some of them don't. Some of them probably does, but anyway, that's the carrots. Got more carrots over there. This is a cauliflower and it's not doing anything yet. But I do have, oh, these are collard greens. No, these are collard greens and they're doing lovely things another Brussels sprout right there. Look at these over here that we planted the other day. They're doing good things. Amazing. Look at this. I'm hoping that these, I'm gonna let these head. Just get good big heads on them and cut them and use them as head lettuce. That's, uh, what's that called? Uh, Jim, Tiny Jim, 
lettuce, something like that. But anyway, it's looking really lovely. Cabbages, more broccolis, more broccolis, more broccolis, more broccolis, cauliflower. Until it's cauliflower because it's not hidden yet. The spinach, just lovely spinach, organic. Mm. Just eat it fresh out of the garden. Lovely. I told y'all I gathered all these, but I didn't. More radishes. All right, I'm going to show you what I'm doing now. Um, I have got this. This is my basil that I got out of the garden before the freeze, and I've hung it in my closet in there to dry, and it's nice, crunchy, and dry. So now what I'm doing is I'm just taking it and putting it in this bowl. Let me show you. Put it in this bowl and scrunching it up to make dried basil to use in our cooking. And we'll use this basil in spaghetti sauce, lasagna, Anything, anywhere we need basil, we'll use this basil. And it, I wish you could smell it in here. It smells so incredibly good. So let me, um, let me continue doing this and putting this in this basil. This time change has got us all messed up. It's eight o'clock, and Wayne's over there sleep. You know, it feels like it's twelve o'clock. I said I know, but anyway, let me get this basil done. All right. So once I got finished taking all the basil leaves off the stems. I crushed them up by hand, put them in the food processor, and ground them up. And now we have homegrown organic basil to use all winter long. And look, that's almost a full pint jar. That's a lot of basil, my friends. So this is Hayes. He's the newest member of our household. Him's a husky. Him is four years old. Him's a good boy. Piper loves him. Phoebe, <coughs> not so much. Come on, we can't go through that house. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, he pulls. He pulls and he's, he's strong. I just saw something that I've never seen before. They probably do it every year and I've just never noticed it. There was a truck on my street and he was stopping and there was a big old hose that come out the side of it. And what he was doing, he was sucking up leaves that people had put outside the road. I wish he had dumped them in my yard. I'd mulch them up for leaf mulch. I need some. He probably won't dump them in my yard. And probably that's a lot of leaves too. That's a big old truck. I just need a good sized pile. But dang. I like that. Y'all, I'm not gonna bring you this this recipe right now because this is the absolute first time I've try, I'm trying it. This is a SCOBY from kombucha. So it's a SCOBY, it's very tough. But I found a recipe online and they were making, where's my knife? They were making Scoby candy, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use the dehydrator and I'm gonna make a Scoby candy. So I've cut these Scobies into thin strips and I'm popping them in this bowl. And what we're gonna do, now she used grape juice. I don't have any grape juice. So what I'm gonna use is 100% 100% cranberry juice. So this is 100% juice cranberry. And we're going to marinate this scoby in the cranberry juice overnight. Put a little bit more. Now, if this turns out, I'll come back and show y'all exactly how I do all this. But so what she did is she added... Sugar, granulated sugar to this. She had less than what I have, so she added two tablespoons. I'm gonna add three. 
I'm gonna add four because I think I'm actually <laughs> doubling it. But it's candy, so candy is sweet. So we're gonna do this. Stir it up a little bit with my hands. And I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator overnight. And then tomorrow, probably tomorrow night, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the dehydrator and dehydrate it. And it's going to be SCOBY candy. So we'll see how this works. Anyway, um, this is where I'm gonna go ahead and close the video out because I've got enough to make a video for you and I'll post this up. So in the next video, I'll come back and I'll show you how this turned out. But I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a comment in the comment box. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a thumbs up. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye.